Okay, let's begin. Let's begin. Good morning, people. Well, it's not good morning. Good evening. I'm sorry. It's about morning. I don't know why. Yes. I'm thinking about good morning. Evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good. Sounds great. How's the weather? How's the weather? It's nice. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, huh. this is the one, right? Class number four. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, people. Thanks. Nice to have you. Hi. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? How are you, teacher? Everything good? Yes? Yes. That's great. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining Thank this you. class. We're going to start working with this thing that is called learning English here on Zoom. Okay. Thank you so much. This is class number four, as you may see, right? Oh my gosh. What's up on this thing? I was expecting, I was expecting, um, expecting the other one, but this thing. Okay. Section number two, imperatives, beginners module. No, let me see. Okay, let me see. Let me see, because I need to check something really quick. Give me a minute. Can I do it? Oh my gosh. Yes, it's, what's the matter? I, I changed it, just give me a minute, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Correa? I was thinking about something else. Oh my gosh. Okay. Give me a minute, I'm sorry. Because because like the PowerPoint it isn't responding. Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. How are you? Fine. Sounds good. Nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome, people. This is the section number two. What's the matter? I'm gonna work with imperatives. This is beginners and this is class number four. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening. What time is it? Nubia Ramirez, what time is it? Tell me, please. Nine. Is it nine? Nine? Yeah. Ah, nine. Five. 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 Okay, nine, five. Yeah, right, nine, five. Okay, very good. Or you can say five past nine. Thank you so much, Nubia. That's very good. Good evening. Okay. Voy a tomar la attendance ahorita. Cuando escuche your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Recordarles que este módulo pues va corrido. Entonces quiere decir que tenemos clase el día de mañana y tenemos clase el día lunes 31 también. Okay? Mm. Yes? Okay. Luego regresamos de vacación. Según el horario que tengo aquí, regresamos el lunes 7. El lunes 7 estaríamos con clases normales. Mm. Otra vez. ¿Ok? El lunes. Yes. Entonces, solo el lunes tendríamos clase la otra semana. Exacto. Yes. Ok. Vamos a vacación y luego regresamos el, el, el lunes 7 de agosto. Y siempre van a ser corridas las clases. Quiere decir que los viernes siempre van a tener clases, según mi calendario. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Entonces, va a ir manejando los tiempos con, los, con las actividades en la plataforma, las asignaciones. ¿sí? Igual, por ejemplo, si tiene algún inconveniente, a veces con a veces una mayúscula. Entonces, sí, apoyo ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp de sus compañeros, porque a veces hasta yo le hay, porque es una mayúscula y no deja, ¿verdad? Right? 
Entonces, uh, a veces ahí nos podemos apoyar los que ya hicieron el exercise. Ok, so, so you can help each other. Okay. Rosa. Una ayuda para, para las, las, este, llenar la plataforma. ¿A dónde nos podemos comunicar? Porque antes teníamos aquel 20, 20, no sé qué. Hoy no tenemos cómo nos ayudaban ahí. Fíjese que hay un encargado en el grupo de WhatsApp. Usted puede observar los encargados ahí del grupo. Puede consultarles a ellos. O inclusive ahí en el mismo grupo puede estar pidiendo apoyo. Sí. Pero eh, claro, si, si no le resuelven, igual pues okay. bueno, contactar gracias. a las personas encargadas del grupo para pues hasta que lo resuelvan, ¿no? Right? Yes. Okay. Gracias. Perfect, perfect. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Did you ever say something? I was like, oh, what is she talking about? <laughs> Thank you so much, Blanca. Okay. Aleida García. Thank you. Thank you, Alicia. Welcome, Ana Osorio. Present. Thank you, Anita Martinez. Y Ale dice que tienen problemas, no pueden entrar. Alicia Martinez. Anita Martinez y Ale. Oh, Anita Martinez. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. So, Ana Martinez. Excuse me? Okay. So, Ana Martinez tiene problems, right? Yes? With the internet connection. Ana Campos. I'm here, teacher. Thank good you. Evening. And good evening. Blanca Esmeralda Mendoza. Ya pueden estar, teacher. Oh, Ana... Martínez. Yeah. Thank you, Ana. Yeah, well, you. Oh, yes, they're very nice. They're very nice people. Eh, Blanca Mendoza. No Blanca today? Cristian okay. Romero. Present. Thank you, Cristian. Maricela Pérez. Present teacher. Thank you, Maricela. Granados. Milagro Granados. Present teacher. Thank you, Isabel Zúñiga. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ernesto Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Fatima Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Jessica Romero. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Jessica Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Carlos López. No, Juan Carlos. Okay, let's work with. Julio Cesar Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you and good evening. Miguel Rodriguez. Hello, hello, Miguel. No? Okie dokie. Nu Nubia, you're here, right, Nubia? Yes. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Rosa Salazar de Fabian. Rosa. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Rosa. Good evening. Welcome. It's not with. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Jennifer Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yolanda Andrade. Yolanda. Eh, Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos. Ahorita, Juan Carlos. Yolanda, she's not here. Juan sí, no, Carlos. Convenientes, ¿verdad? Ok, Juan Carlos. Eh, Juan Carlos. Ok, let me check the chat. 
Good job, tengo Ana García, she's here, very good. Juan Carlos, very good. Ana Leticia García, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ana, ahorita, I'm oh, sorry, okay. Yes. No problem, it's nice to have you. It's nice to have you one more time, welcome. Okay, we're gonna have an easy class for you, yes. No se olvide de ir avanzando ejercicios o asignaciones en la plataforma, so you can, so you can finish the material. We're going to have imperatives. Okay, let's begin with the first activity for today, which is this one. Get the brand. So, tell me, what's the brand that we have here? Please tell me, tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. What's the brand? But when we say, when we pronounce this vocabulary and we combine with this one, we have a brand. What is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? An iPhone. Oh, very good. We have an iPhone, right? Look at this one. iPhone. Expensive, right? IPhone. Expensive. So we have an iPhone. That is the brand. An iPhone. What about this one? Mm -hmm. What about this one? We have guess the fruit. We have a fruit when we say this word and this one as well. What is mango. that? Exactly. We have mango. a mango. <laughs> we have a mango, right? Yes. Mango. Yeah. Esa es la fruta, right? Esa es el fruit. Mango. Entonces, cuando decimos las dos palabras, so formamos la palabra, la fruit que se llama mango. So we have a mango here. Very good. Great job. Vamos con el next one. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Aquí tenemos este, right? What is, what is the game? Mm -hmm. What is the game? Twitter. <laughs> angry bird. <laughs> angry, angry bird. Exactly. Angry bird. Había un juego de, de un pajarito, right? Que estaba angry siempre. Entonces, angry. Y luego, bird. Así se llamaba el game. Angry bird. Yes. Entonces, cuando está. Pues usted me dice cuál es el game que está ahí, right? Angry Birds. Yes. Es un video game. You know, and back in the day, it was very popular. Nowadays, it's, it's not popular. Where's the game? Uh -huh. Entonces, Nubia, cuando usted pronuncia esto que está acá y esto que está acá, usted le pues, dice un game, un juego que se llama Angry Birds. Ingrid Bear. Ingrid Bear. Ajá. Es un videojuego que se llama Angry. Angry. Bird. Bird. Angry. Angry. Bear. Angry. Bear. Angry. Bear. Angry. Bear. Angry. Bear. Angry. Este era, ¿no? Pajarito. Este que está ahí, ¿verdad? Este que está ahí, Uy, Ahí se quitó, ok. Ya, yeah, era Angry Bear. Ya, yeah. era de un pajarito que siempre estaba enojado. Yeah, he was always mad. I don't know why. He was always mad. Angry, right? Uh, and that's it. Okay. Vamos a hablar vocabulary. Do you remember yesterday? We were talking about some kind of illnesses. And today we're going to have a little bit of this vocabulary. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take... Give as many examples as you can. 
look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. First thing I want you to do is I will play the, the video one more time and see those versus labios to repeat the vocabulary, okay? The master Sahara, that's better, okay? Yes. So let's listen and repeat. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. Antacid. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cold pills. Eye drops. Now, I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a cold, I take give. Okay, so what do we have here in these sentences? Like, from the Yotengo, right? Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. These are like the common medications that we can take when we have like common illnesses, right? Yes, like a headache, like a stomachache, like a toothache. I don't know, like if we if we, if we get cough or if we get the, a cold or the flu. This is the, these are like the normal medicines that we have. And we have the expression whenever. Like in Spanish, cuando, oh, okay, pues tengo dolor de cabeza, o cada que uh, tengo un dolor de cabeza. Yes, I have, I take, y luego, well, the medicine that you have. Like if you have a headache, sometimes you have acetaminophen, right? That's what we have. So they say, hey, take two acetaminophen, si un solo, porque si no, puede <laughs> tener efecto, right? So they take two acetaminophen. Uh, if you have a headache, you we have aspirin because usually aspirin are the ones when we have a headache are the ones that we can take. Okay, so le voy a pedir exactly a uh, Juan Carlos Lopez. Dígame Juan Carlos, please, this medication. Thank you. Uh, and yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Muscle cream. Mm -hmm. As, aspirin, mm -hmm. uh, syrup, 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 yeah. cold drops, mm -hmm. cold drop. cold field, cold field, eye uh, drops. Thank you. Eye, eye drops. Eye drop, eye drop. Eye drop. Muscle, 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 muscle cream. Very good. Okay. Cream. Cough. Zero, very good. Cough, cough zero. zero, and cough drops. Cough drops. Have cold pills, very good. Thank you so much. Now, Anna Elizabeth Campos, please say the medication, please. Thank you. Uh, and that's it. Very good. Muscle cream. Muscle. Muscle cream. Very good. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Beautiful. Thank you. This one? Aspirin. Very good. Cow syrup. Yes. Continue. Cow drops. Cough drop. Cough drops. Thank you. Carry on. Continue. Cow fields. Yes. And what about these ones? Eye drops. Eye drops, right? Las gotitas, right? Eye drops. We can have eye, eye drops. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you can say, I have whenever, cuando yo tengo, right? Or cuando me da, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuando tengo, well, dolor de cabeza, whenever. Siempre que tengo, siempre que tengo, right? Dolor de cabeza y te can ask me. O cuando... 
into un pequeño mareito ahí, right? I take something like Coca Cola. Okay, let's continue. As many examples. Here we have. Okay, complete the sentence with the correct medication. His nose is very congested. Oh, mira aquí, the congested. I finally found it congested. He needs some nasal. What about the number two? What is the number two? Mm -hmm. Cold pills. Oh, okay. I have a fireball call, so I'm going to buy some cold pills. Oh, right. Cold pills, right? So you have the name. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. It's not a call that like somebody called you. Yes, right? Perfect, yes. Thank you. What about number three? Your eyes look like a patch, right? Red and tired. And yes. drops. Eye drops. Eye drops. Very good. Eye drops. So we have eye drops. Okay, I guess you end up on. Alan has a stomach ache, so he's going to get some fantastic, 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 fantastic. Yes, mire, el pecto, right? So we can have a big bottle of pecto, this one. Very, very good, fantastic. Number fantastic. five, aspirin. Aspirin. Oh, okay. Aspirin. Thank you. Aspirin. Thank you. So, 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 and Maricela said, read yes. five and six. Maricela Perez. Ready? Okay. Let's see. Okay. 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 His nose is very congested. He needs some nasal spray. I have a horrible cough, so I'm going to buy, I'm going to buy some coffee. You, you're Ace look red and red re, get some Tired. some a drop. Alan has a stomachache, so he's going to get some anti anti anaxid. I have an Case, I need some aspirin. Mandy close some apple. I am going to give her some cox syrup. Very good. Thank you so much. Tenemos I looks eyes looks eyes look red and tired. Eye I drops. So we have eye drops, right? Uh and Antacid, 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 right? Mm. And here, awful. I feel awful, right? Awful is negative or positive? Mm. Negative or positive? Awful, here. Uh -huh. negative. Negative. negative, right? Exactly, right? Cuando quieren capacidad de llegar al doctor, es, oh, doctor, I feel awful. Yes, que la próxima vez que vaya al seguro, right? The siguiente le dice, ah, doctor, I'm sorry. I feel awful. Yeah, I feel terrible. Okay, I need three days off. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> so you can get three days off and you can just rest, okay? So this is the way we use this medicine, right? Now we're going to have this conversation. Yes, listen and read. Page 81, exercise six, conversation. Try to relax. Listen and practice. 
Hello, Ms. Lake. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later, I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Try to relax. All right. Thanks, Dr. Yun. Okay. Who is, who is this woman here? Who is this woman? Mm -hmm. Who is this woman? This one. The doctor? The doctor. The doctor. doctor. Yeah. Who is this woman here? Uh, patient. The patient, right? So that's the patient. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. What is what is the symptom that the patient is having? What is the symptom? Mm -hmm. so tired. Exhausted. Tired. Oh, she's so tired, right? Exactly. And why is yeah. she, why is so tired? Why is why are you so tired? Because she can sleep or exactly. at night. Exactly. She can sleep. Cuando uno no puede dormir, vaya al siguiente día anda, pero que no lo aguanta nadie. No, it's no, it's it's tired. Tired. <laughs> if you're tired because you can sleep. sleep. Can sleep. Yes, at night. Those are some signs. Sometimes we get like problems and we are not able to sleep, so we can not sleep at night. So that's why we get tired. Okay. And what are what is the what is the med what is the medicine? Mm -hmm. Uh some pills. Some pills, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. How many pills per day? How many pills per day? One pill. One pill every evening after dinner, right? After dinner. Uh, after dinner. Entonces, para... Um, <laughs> oh, my God. ¿Para qué que me que me está dando las, las pills en la evening? ¿A qué hora es la evening? ¿Ya? Yeah. <laughs> está... ¿A qué hora son las evening? No. No. ¿Desde las 6 a 10? Exactamente, desde las 6 en adelante hasta como las 11. ¿va? Entonces... ¿Qué quiere decir que le estoy dando un, like, una medicina so she can relax? You know what I mean? So she can sleep at night. Okay. Uh, y también le da la recommendation. What is something that she cannot drink? Drink coffee, tea, or so. Exactly. No coffee, no tea, and and coffee, no soda. No soda. 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 Uh, <laughs> Si tiene problemas de sueño, no coffee, no, no, coffee. no soda, right? Miren, la Coca-Cola. Sí, es un soda. Exactly, right? So don't drink that, don't drink that. Miren, ya pasamos con su tarjeta, right? Yes, for free. So, yes, if you cannot sleep, don't drink coffee and don't drink soda and don't drink tea because it won't help. And then try to relax, yes? So voy a poner one more time. Listen pronunciation and then we practice. Yes. Page 81. Exercise 6. Conversation. Try to relax. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. Lake. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. A few minutes later... I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Try to relax. All right. Thanks, Dr. Yun. That was Dr. Yun. Tome la captura de pantalla, please. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Juan Carlos. Cuando sea, that was good. Okay. 
Tome la captura, please. Take a screenshot of this conversation. Thank you so much. Vamos a practicar los breaker rooms. Voy a dar son minutes. So you can practice. Remember, yes, don't worry about mistakes. ¿Sí? No importa si se equivoca. You need to speak. Speak and try. Here, here, como lo pronuncia your partner, so you can practice, right? Yes. Give So I can give you the breaker rooms. Groups of three. Oh my gosh, options. Gonna give you a little bit more. En el main room, en la sala principal, se van a quedar Ana Cristina Osorio, Lubia Ramírez, and Tigna Ruiz. Ustedes tres aceptan la invitación, pero se quedan aquí en la sala principal, so you can practice the conversation. Los demás, please join your partners. One more time. En la sala principal, I need Ana Cristina, Lubia Ramírez, and Tigna Eunice. Los demás, Please join and practice. Okay, Ernesto, Jessica, Fatima, Juan, Julio, um, Areli, Maricela, eh, okay. uh, Ana Campos, eh, Milagro Granados, Milagro Granados, Ana Campos, una se please, Ana Campos. Ana, Ana, please. Milagro, una se please. Thank you. Milagro, una se please. Ok, ahí está. Bueno, los que dejé aquí en la sala principal, que son uh, Ana, Cristina, Nubia, en Sigma, este es tiempo para ustedes, so you can practice here. Perfecto, okay, Os voy a dejar de compartir. Verifiquen si les aparece la opción de compartir a ustedes, please. ¿Sí? Hay una cosa que se llama compartir pantalla y no sé si les aparece a ustedes esa opción. Sí, nos aparece. Ah, una okay. flechita hacia arriba. Yes, very good. Ok, thank you. Yo me quedé, teacher, porque se me descargó el celular, no sé. Ah, ok, ok. No problem, no problem. Es aquí en la sala principal. Yes. Ok. Ok, let's, let's, let's practice. Ok, let's practice. Ok. Vamos a ver. Hello. No, espera. Okay. Vale. Ay, estoy en la pantalla que me está molestando. Ay, que me dice que espere a ser asignada. Pero me está tapando la pantalla, Tiche. Eh, dele cancelar. Creo que le aparece la opción de cancelar. Ahí está, ya estuvo. Ya. Gracias, compañerita. Vale, comienzo. Eh, hello, Mrs. Lake. How are you today? Eh, not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, hey, let's take a look. I look at you. Siempre sigue usted. Okay. I'm going to give you some feel say one feel very every evening after dinner. Okay. I'm done three cups of soda. Anything else? Yes. Try to relax. All right, thank you, Dr. John. Okay. Thank you so much. Solo aquí tenemos else. Anything else? Anything else? Repeat, please, else. Anything else? Exactly. Anything else? Anything else? Ahora va Nubia. 
Okay. Good. Nubia and Ana Cristina. Oh, Ana, usted va a ser now Dr. Yoon and Nubia, usted are Miss Lake. Mr. Lake. Eh, ok. Otra vez participo. Yes. Ah, ok. Hello, Mr. Lake. How are you today? No, so good. What's wrong exactly? I am saucy. Mm, we are you so tired? I don't know. I just can sleep it and die. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going I'm going to hide you some pills. Take okay. one pill every night after dinner. Okay. I don't drink coffee, tea or soda. Anything else? Yes, try to relax. I'm nice. Thank you, Dr. Jules. Good, that was very good. Okay, a few mistakes, for example, tenemos why, why tired? Why tired? Why tired? Tired. 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 Yes, very good. Ahí vamos. Tired. Tired. Okay. Why tired. are you so tired. tired? Anna, repeat, please. Why are you so tired? Uh, why tired? Why tired. are you so tired? Why are you so tired? Why are you so tired? Tired. 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 Very good. Okay. Y tenemos don't drink, don't drink coffee, tea, and soda. Sí. Sí, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Exactly, tea or soda. Very good. Okay. Okay. And then tenemos gear. Anything else? Else. Yes. Anything else? Yes. Anything else? Yes. Anything else? Thank you. Es como cuando usted va a la tienda, va y compra tres churros y le dice a la señora, ¿anything else? Ah, oh, apagaste. Uh -huh. Algo else? más, le dice, ¿anything else? ¿Algo más? Oh. Y usted le anything dice, else? oh, yes, deme tres pan dulces, va, just give me three pastries. Oh. Entonces, ¿anything else significa eso? ¿Algo más? Yes, ¿anything else? Yes, three to relax. Three ah, to relax. Yes, three to relax. Anything else? Yes, two, two, relax. Yes, three, 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 three. No sé cómo dice. Teacher, oh. three, con el siguiente, let's go, significa siguiente. Eh? Eh, yes, three, to relax. Try, no. try. Ah. ah, try. Yes, try to relax. ¿Sabes qué significa try? Try. ¿Qué hay significa? Una hay una canción de la Pink que se llama Try, Try. Es bien bonita. Try, sí. solo así dice. Igualito que este verbo. Try, try. Try mm -hmm. es... ¿Tratar? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Tratar, intentar. Uh, try. Oh. Voy a escribir esto. Try. Yes. Es una canción de Pink oh. bien bonita. Beautiful. Let's try, try. Uh, I don't know what is. I think it's about a relationship, but it's quite good. Try. Or sometimes Try. we feel like Try. tired and um, just motivate. Sorry, just motivate. Very good. We're going to have a few participation. Anna, Elizabeth, usted la que está participando aquí en la sala principal, yes? Okay, perfect. Eh, creo que era en Baker Room, o no sé cómo se llama. Estaba practicando con otras compañeras. Oh, ok, es que tengo varias Ana, sí. right? tengo Ana Cristina, ok, so Ana Cristina, okay. Was, yeah. entonces Ana, usted, and Jennifer, Flores, 
Usted va a ser el paciente, Jennifer, and the doctor is Ana. Okay. 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 Empieza ya. Yes, please, thank you. Hello, Miss Lake. How are you today? Not so good. What's, what's wrong exactly? Um, it's so still. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. No. Okay, let's take a look at you. Okay. I'm going to give some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, try to relax. All right. Thanks, Dr. Jim. That was very good. Thank you, Dr. Uh, Campos, right? I think it's Dr. Campos. Yeah, that's the doctor, Dr. Campos. Thank you. Very good. Solo tenemos un problemita aquí con dinner. After dinner. After dinner. Y aquí el, el, el yes les va a sonar como un yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Okay, so this is about going to the doctor, right? Sometimes we go to the doctor and you can say doctor cuando le dice los síntomas. Mire, ¿qué tiene? Pues? Mire, ¿qué tiene? Mire, ¿qué tiene? Pues? <laughs> oh, I have a headache, I have fever, I got sore throat, I I don't know, I have a backache, I have a exhausted, yes, yeah, exactly, right? Todos los síntomas que pueda mencionar en English, ahí está. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, so, so this is the way we do it. Right? It's not... que le vayan a hacer una, una, una cirugía o something like that. Right. Oh, that is, that is... Page 80. Vamos a trabajar con a little bit of the grammar. Let's listen. Hi, everyone. In this class, you will learn how to use positive and negative imperatives. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Don't Work Too Hard. Let's listen and practice. Don't work too hard. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. The conversation that we just heard illustrates the conversation between a doctor and a patient. Typically, whenever we are sick and we go to the doctor, we're going to receive instructions from the doctor so that we can get better. We use imperatives to give instructions. Imperatives. Take a pill every four hours. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. To form imperatives is very simple. Just add the verb. No subject is necessary. Then a complement. On the left hand side of the chart, we can see positive imperatives. Let's analyze them. Take a pill every four hours. The verb is take. The complement is a pill every four hours. On the right hand side of the chart, you can see negative imperatives. Don't work too hard. 
In this case, we're going to follow this next formula. Don't plus verb plus complement. Don't work is the verb and the complement to har. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Think of the advice or instructions that you or your doctor gives whenever you have some kind of illness. For example, if you have a cold, take cough syrup. Don't drink cold drinks. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, thank you so much. Entonces, ¿cómo utilizamos esto? Very easy. Use the base or the very go on, rest, like. Y use done, base or with negative. Tenemos positive and negative imperatives. ¿Qué son los imperatives? Bueno, son frases con significado. ¿Y cuáles son los que utilizamos there? Utilizamos los verbos. Es, es como que usted den un verbo, novia, please. Den un verbo, please. Thank you, novia. Mm -hmm. Give me a verb, please. Give me a day. Mm. Drink. Drink. Okay, very good. Just think of verbal drink. Um, drink. Okay, drink. 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 Sin decir un pronombre, sin decir el nombre de la persona, solo decirle. Drink, por ejemplo, water. ¿Ok? Drink water. Drink water. Miren, utilizo el verbo y luego un complemento, por lo que le voy a dar indicación. A veces los niños solo toman soda o fresco. ¿no? Entonces, a veces les digo, hey, water. Yes, drink water. ¿Eh? Drink water. En casa, yes. A veces tenemos ¿Qué? el verbo clean, ¿ok? Miren, ¿qué le dice un muchacho? Clean your room. Yes. Clean, your... clean your room. Entonces, vengo y agarro el verbo, que es este, y luego solo le agrego un complemento. Esos son los interactivos. Y tenemos de la forma positiva o tenemos de la forma negativa. En la forma negativa utilizamos don, ¿ok? Y luego utilizo un verbo. Y es don. Ahorita voy a utilizar el que me dio novia. Drink. Don't sleep. Exactly. Don't sleep. Very good. Sleep. Late. Yes. Este le dice a su muchacho. Right. Mire. Don't sleep late. Entonces, esos son los imperatives. Son frases con significado. Sí. Que en la mayoría de casos lo ocupamos para dar instruction. Para dar orden. Okay. Yes. O para dar indicación a pausa. Yes. Entonces, así es como los utilizamos. Right? Ahora, estamos trabajando with medicine, with uh, illnesses, like a stomachache. Entonces, vamos a utilizar los imperatives para recomendar. Right? Por ejemplo, llega su amiga o your, your, your sister y le dice, ay, viera, porque tengo un dolor de cabeza. Y viene usted y le dice, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué le dice en la number two? Dice, I have a... Uh, ¿Cuál sería de las options aquí? ¿Cuál sería? Correct. Mm -hmm. I, I have a Excuse me. Pay to aspirins. Aspirins. Pay to aspirins. Okay, so... Pay to Exactly. Pay to... Oh, I'm sorry. To ask things. Yes. Entonces vengo y le digo, hey, mira, el nombre. Tomate dos aspirinas, right? Say to ask yes. right. What about the number yes. three? I work 12 hours a day. Work too hard. Excuse work me. Too hard. Work too hard. Work too hard. Okay, entonces, work too hard. 
Ok, sí, pero tenemos que arreglarla. Acuérdense que si yo le digo work too hard, es como pues, trabajar bastante, right? Don't work too oh, hard. very good. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Tiene que ser negativo, right? Porque ella dice, mire, I work two hours. Not. Sure. Don't. 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 Work. 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 Don't work too hard. Porque ella dice, I work 12 hours a day. Well, le dice usted, don't work too hard. Porque si no, vas a dar un solo, le dice, right? Vas a dar un solo, ahí. ¿Quién se socorre, right? So don't work too hard. Don't... It's any work. Mire, luego tenemos esta cosa. My leg, my leg hurt. My don't leg. exercise today or tomorrow. Oh, very good. Don exercise. Okay, yo le digo a mi cero, a mira, te ve en las patas, right? Don mm -hmm. exercise. Yes, exercise. Today or tomorrow. Or today. Tomorrow. Okay. No te van a dar más, right? Don exercise today or tomorrow. So you can rest. Very good. Thank you. I have a toothache. Mm -hmm. I have a toothache. ¿Qué es un toothache? Dolor de mano. Exactly. Toothache. Don't eat any cold food. Oh, yes. Very good. A toothache. Don't. Don't eat. Eat any cold food. Cold food. Cold food. Don't eat any eat cold any food. food. Yes, very good. And what about the last one with Fatima? I have an awful stomach ache. Mm -hmm. Take an antacid. full diarrhea, right? Take an antacid. Antacid. Very good. So, mire. Right. Ahí usted está recomendando a your, your, uh, uh, to somebody, right? To somebody. Mira, I have a headache. Take two aspirin. Okay. Uh, I can't sleep by night. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Yes. That would help you. You can give, let's say, recommendations. Okay. Utilizando los imperatives to somebody. Ok. Yes. O también, pues, puede darle indicaciones a algún familiar o algún, pues, hijo, right? Como decimos aquí en these examples. Yes. About the things that, por ejemplo, es, tenemos en la clase asignaciones, right? Como limpiar la casa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. So, so we can use the imperatives to talk about. Preguntas hasta acá? Any question about this? Any question? Any question? Okay. okay, voy a moverme al next exercise. No sé si están copiando. Yes or no? So we go to the next one. Again, this is imperatives, right? Give me a minute. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let's check. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, es que me puse a reír de las pictures que había aquí. Ok, tengo esas pictures, right? Give, give, give people. these people advice. Use the Vamos a ver las pictures. La primera es don't go outside. Mira, this gentleman, sí. right? A los caballeros, when we are sick. Concrete. What about the number, the picture number two? Drink. Excuse me. 
a state of work to class. Number two. The group, um, the go to the grocery store. Go to the grocery store. Sí. Okay, but, but look at this girl here. Sí. Okay, what is she doing? She's like, it's like a sleeping. Have a hot drink. Oh, yes, very good. Cuando estamos with, with, uh, with the flu, hacemos un tecito, right? So you can say, have a hot drink. Entonces, bebe algo, right? Hot, right? Come in. Yes. Have a hot drink. Love it. Yes. Thank you. Can you the next picture? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Excuse me? Drink some water. Oh, oh, this one, the number three. Uh, have a hot drink. No, because have a hot drink, we use it. Ya lo utilizamos. up early right and you check the fridge or the refrigerator and there is nothing inside so what do you do what do you do when you don't have food in the refrigerator the refrigerator is empty you see what do you do mm -hmm. mm. What is what is this? What is this? Exactly, the refrigerator. Okay, yes. It's empty. No food, right? No food. What do you do? Have a hot drink. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, yeah, I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Okay. El compañero dice go to the grocery store. Yes, very good. Cuando se Había una store... persona que lo decía, pero creo que no sí. lo escuchó. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Go to the grocery. Ok. Store. So, cuando el refri está empty, que no hay nada. Yes. You go to the grocery store. Y usted compra food, right? So, you can eat yes right so you go to the grocery store yes very good very good right so uh, and remember that this is the way we use it mire pues estos estas frases solo tienen un verbo y luego un complement mire verbo 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 y luego un complement okay para comunicar pues that's kind of right. Can communicate what you need to do. Let's have another one. Let's see if we have another one. Okay, what about this one? What about this one? Look at the girl. Class tomorrow, 7 30 a.m. Say you like. Don't stay up late. Exactly. It's okay. Yeah. negative. Don't. Don't. Very good. Don't. Porque tiene clase. El next day a las 7.30. Mire, tiene clase temprano. So, 
pues no sé, pues qué tal, bueno, muchas gracias. Okay. In the last one, we're going to finish with the last one. What is the last one? Have a hot drink. Oh, aquí sí tenemos have a hot drink. Okay. Have a hot drink. Have a hot drink. Yes. Entonces, en la number two, ¿se fijaron? En la number two, ¿qué teníamos? Eh, bueno, vamos a esta es have a hot drink, estaría aquí porque tenemos cup. Voy a quitar y voy a regresar a little bit. So, a la number one, que sería aquí. Aquí habíamos okay. puesto have a hot drink. So, sería from early. Porque la persona está trabajando, right? So, he's working and he is sick. So, when you are sick, pues tiene que irse para la casa, ¿no? Right? So, you okay. Okay, I'm sorry, it's time. It's time, and this is the way we use imperatives when we recommend something about uh, when we are sick or when we want to do like something um, at home, okay? Thank you so much for being here. Good night, and tomorrow, tenemos clases tomorrow. Don't forget. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you.